Once upon a time in the land of the Iroquois and uh, Mohawk, there was an area called Dioinsta. It was their language for the great carry or the great carrying place. Uh, now the white man has taken over. It's called Rome, New York. <clears throat> uh, but this is where uh, the uh, natives would carry their uh, canoes from uh, the Mohawk River to the Wood Creek. Uh, <clears throat> Somewhere in history, I don't remember when, uh, the land became brainwashed by a conservative rag called the Rome Daily Sentinel. Uh, the Daily Sentinel was in this beautiful building, a uh, very modern building, uh, but they're, they're failing. You know, Trump always says the failing New York Times. This is what a real failing uh, newspaper looks like. Uh, they're no longer daily. I think they're three or four days a week. They have a weekend special and they've moved. <laughs> Uh, they could no longer afford to keep this uh, building because like the Washington Examiner, another failing uh, conservative reg, uh, they're, they're downsizing and eventually they're just going to be online because they don't have anything real to report. Uh, if you want real reporting for Central New York, go to the uh, Observer Dispatch from Utica. It came with mixed emotions that I saw the building was sold and they had an address posted on the uh, front door and that address was uh, on what used to be an Air Force base. Long story short, the Air Force base, uh, during the Bush, uh, the first Bush uh, BRAC commissions, uh, they decided to close Griffiths Air Force Base. The, uh, the Republican mayor of Rome suggested, hey, how about the Plattsburgh Air Force Base? They're not used as much. So the BRAC commission reassessed uh, it, and they closed both bases, really cutting jobs in New York. Um, thanks, Republicans. Uh, but that was the first Bush administration. Anyway, let's go on the old base and uh, see what the new Rome somewhat daily sentinel is doing. Now, a lot of you uh, out there don't really appreciate the First Amendment for all that it implies. Uh, a lot of First Amendment auditors will see police like this and go right for it to find out what's going on and challenge the police to see if they have a right to film what the police are doing. I'm actually going on the other side of the police. I'm going to the uh, Rome Sentinel, the Sentinel Media Company, uh, and uh, I'm going to watch them come film the police and the uh, poor gent that got thrown into handcuffs. I have no idea what he did. If you want to know, uh, maybe check in the first uh, edition of the Rome Daily Sentinel on or after the 26th of July, 2022. Um, and we'll see what this guy was arrested for. But, you know, <clears throat> most people get mad because folks like us go to the police incident. I went beyond the police incident and watched uh, actual media folks go watch the police incident. Let's see if they like me doing what they do and do what people like me do uh, when they're not around. Media is media, right? First Amendment is not infringement of the, uh, of the media. Let's check it out. Okay, here they come. What's left of the Rome Sentinel Media Corporation staff uh, coming out to see if they get the scoop on this uh, truck driver just got arrested. That arrest right there. Four pedestrians and a driver, five pedestrians and a driver. Uh, I work by myself. Uh, the lady in black. 
liked it. Seemed to like uh, me holding a camera at her. Oh well. These two don't seem very motivated. They're never going to get a scoop. Uh, they just walk that slowly. Come on, get up. Get going. For a newspaper, you're holding a camera, you're pointing at me, and you ask, Are you filming us? Duh, duh, duh. Which way to go, George? You gotta get photography of that over there. I don't want to talk about it. We work at the newspaper. Yeah. But, uh, uh, you come out of the shack of a newspaper building in hordes like cockroaches when you turn a light on. Uh, and the sign on the door says uh, Sentinel Media Corporation. And uh, you really have to tell me you work for a newspaper? I know you work for a failing newspaper. Duh. Have a nice day. I know. <laughs> You're loud. I'm allowed. Everyone's allowed. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Get my good side. A First Amendment audit or social experiment of this sort is not complete without a butt hurt comeback. He's not doing reporting. He's doing a butt hurt comeback. Uh, maybe my picture will be in the room sentinel on the 27th. Nah. <laughs> so are, are media nervous when people film them? He seems real nervous. I work in the advertising department. Oh, he works in advertisement. He's not a reporter. Get your lazy butt back inside and do some advertising. Well, I don't know. Why, why do you want that on camera? Because we work at the newspaper. Okay. We're just curious if you're with another outlet. I've never seen you before. Yeah. Recorded, so. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he nervous. <laughs> Yes, yes, a, a major, major outlet. Uh, Finkel Media. We are bigger than the New York Times, Washington Post, uh, New York Post, uh, Seattle Times. Uh, we're bigger than all of those put together. Uh, we have a growing audience of about 10. Uh, I think the views on my last video is well over 20. Um, actually, look at this. Uh, this little shack of a building I guess it wouldn't take much to be a major media outlet in their eyes
Well, First Amendment auditors, I've seen you do police stations, libraries, post office. I've seen you do um, car dealerships and all kinds of places from public, oh yeah, military bases. This used to be one. Um, anyway, really test people's uh, awareness of the First Amendment. Hit your local newspaper, see if they, or your local news channel, uh, see if they react. It gives me an idea. Maybe I go down to Fox News tomorrow, see what they do. I know OAN, they hide. I did want an OAN, but they hide.